It appears as if the Washington football team is having just a horrific month, except for the great news that we got about Alex Smith being able to return to full form and is actually competing for the starting quarterback job. For the most part, the Redskins have been one gigantic dumpster fire from the Washington Post article that has been published about them a couple of weeks ago all the way to the most recent news. And there's actually another piece of news that was kind of linked to the Redskins today. If you didn't hear, Quentin Dunbar got let off. He's on the Seahawks now. He used to be a member of the Washington Redskins, whereas DeAndre Baker might be subjected to a minimum of 10 years of prison time. And that's not even before we get to this Darius Geis news. So what's going on, guys? Your boy Mike back again with some more content. Guys, I'm gonna be live streaming on Twitch tonight at 9 p.m. Pacific time. A link to my Twitch is down below. It's twitch.tv forward slash flight Mike. On top of that, make sure you leave a like and subscribe and turn on my notifications. NFL YouTube has been a little bit weird recently, so every subscription and every like really helps the channel grow. Now that we got all that out of the way, break! Mike check one, two, one, two. What's going on, everybody? I'm not excited to make a video on such tragic news. Well, I'm not a big fan of hearing this happening to players because I believe Darius Geis has had a very difficult career already. And what I mean by that, man, is if you look at Darius Geis's career, in the very beginning, he was selected in the end of the second round and he was supposed to be the Washington Redskins workhorse halfback. But the problem is, the moment he got drafted in his very first preseason game as a rookie, Darius Geis sustained a torn ACL. That ended his season but there was still a lot of hype surrounding Darius guys because Adrian Peterson was putting up decent numbers in the latter part of his career with the Washington football team and going into his second season I actually pegged him as one of my fantasy football sleepers but what happened in 2019 sucked even more well nothing sucks more than a uh, torn ACL but you get what I mean he returns in 2019 he makes his debut for the Washington Redskins against the Philadelphia Eagles he rushes for 18 yards off of 10 attempt he has three receptions for 20 yards and then he sustained an injury to his right knee the Redskins would go on to lose the game and it was later on revealed that Darius Geis would tear his meniscus so he had a very up and down season. He would return back in week 11 and he would rush seven times for 24 yards and he was able to catch a pass for a 45 yard touchdown. But for the most part, we didn't really see his true potential until week 13 against the Carolina Panthers when he was able to rush 10 times for 129 yards and two touchdowns. And then the very next week he suffered an MCL in the very next week, he suffered an MCL sprain and he was placed on the injured reserve. That's where Darius Geis stands currently. I literally just summarized his entire NFL career for you guys. And once again, man, I was really excited to see what he was gonna do for the Washington football team because coming into this year, the Washington football team appear to be in the midst of a complete shift in their culture. They're completely moving on from the Redskins name. They're hiring a coach that has proven to be able to turn around struggling franchises and who has made the Super Bowl in the past decade and a, and a head coach that is for the most part really respected around the entire NFL in Ron Rivera. They have a second year sophomore quarterback in Dwayne Haskins and they have Alex Smith who is a more than capable bridge quarterback to mentor him. So it seemed like they were trending upward this season up until this past month where there were reports of Dan Snyder doing crazy stuff like withholding his cheerleaders passports and subjecting them to nude photo shoots. And I made another video on that. I'll leave it, I'll leave it in the description down below. But now, according to Ian Rappaport, to make things even worse, Washington halfback Darius Geis faces one count of strangulation, which is a felony, which means my man, well, not even my man, I'm not calling him my man, which means this dude came out here and strangled somebody, three counts of assault and battery, and one count of destruction of property. He turned himself into the authorities this afternoon. Now, it gets even crazier over here because Ian Rappaport goes on to report that the Washington football team has officially cut Darius Geis. 
And which was really, I'll tell you what's really interesting. Someone sent this in one of my NFL group chats. It's the fact that Darius Geis' player comparison was Ray Rice. And I wouldn't say it's funny. I'd say it's ironic. I'd say it's unfortunate. But I don't think anything about this situation is funny at all. So to recount everything, Darius Geis was arrested on domestic violence related charges and the Washington football team actually came out and released a statement on him. And this is what they had to say. On Thursday, we learned of a potential domestic violence related incident involving running back Darius Geis. We immediately alerted the National Football League and have continued to work with them during this process. We then met with Darius to inform him that he was excused from all team activity pending a review of this matter. This afternoon, we learned that there were multiple charges filed against Darius. Upon review of the nature of these charges and following internal discussions, we have decided to release Darius immediately. Now, to be honest, guys, the punishment for these acts are very inconsistent. For example, we saw Ray Rice get canceled. We saw Kareem Hunt get cut. And Kareem Hunt was significantly more proven than Darius Geis. But in this scenario, Darius was in a situation where his team was literally supporting him and waiting for him to come back, waiting for him to make it through these injuries. But at this point, if you're a team like Washington that has been going through what Washington has been going through, you cannot risk having a player like this on your team. Whenever there's rumblings about your owner being accused of trafficking and getting involved in lawsuits and literally almost alienating all of your minority shareholders, the last thing you want is a running back that has yet to prove himself that has these issues and these charges filed against him. So it makes a lot of sense because Dan Snyder has been going through a horrible month, but I have to applaud the Washington football team for the decision they've made. This is what you're supposed to do. It's not like it was in their control that their player was going to get involved in a domestic violence dispute. Whenever you are trying to establish a culture and you could take a page out of the Kansas City Chiefs book because they cut Kareem Hunt during a phenomenal season for Kareem Hunt. Bear in mind that Kareem Hunt, at the time that he got cut from the Kansas City Chiefs, he was on pace to record 2,000 yards from scrimmage. And he had 14 touchdowns on the year right when the news about his assault case came out. So at the end of the day, do I think Darius Geis is going to play football again? Most definitely not this year, possibly next year. And I give it a slim to none chance of it happening. This is a very, very ugly thing to be charged with, especially when you throw the word strangulation in there. Let me know what you guys think about this horrible news. It really, it sucks hearing that players are going through this and prayers for Darius Geis and prayers towards his family, prayers for his loved ones, because it's always a sad day when a player gets himself into this type of scenario and ends up losing his contract and his opportunity in the NFL. Aside from that, leave a like to support the channel, not because you enjoy hearing this news, but to support me. Subscribe and turn on my notifications to help the channel grow. I'm your boy Microphone, and I'm dropping the mic until our next upload.